thank you so much for tuning in so this one's for the great tens again and we're going to be doing yeah a population structure it's basically a continuum from the last one that we did and yeah just to show it again getting our content from here yeah guys get this book please it's really really great there's digital resources and that will really help you okay yeah so <laughs> we're gonna be doing population structure and with population structure there's population indicators and yeah we, we just we're just diving into it today with population indicators there's your birth rate your death rate your life expectancy your fertility rate your what's the fifth one i'm forgetting something okay yeah those those four okay yeah just let's just focus on those four for now because i forgot the other one so yeah those are your population indicators and then to start off with birth rate birth rate is basically the number of living babies yeah emphasis on living babies the number of living babies that are born per 1000 people in that year that is a birth rate and then there's a death rate which is the number um the number of people per thousand people that died in that year that's your death rate and then life expectancy is basically the the number of years that a person or a population is expected to live and then the other one is fertility rate and that is the number of babies a female is expected to give birth to like living babies in her lifetime so those are your four factors and then i'll just make like different yeah so basically those are important because they help government to plan they they kind of show where a country is in terms of like development and all that stuff so as you know a country that has okay if you know if you don't know a country that has a high birth rate is most likely to be a developing country and a country that has a high death rate is also most likely to be a developing country and we will get into the reasons what well, into the reasons why just shortly after okay life expectancy even with life expectancy a country that has a, a long life expectancy maybe like your 80 or your 70 that is most likely to be a developed country we will get into those reasons why later as well and then fertility rate a high fertility rate is mostly found in developing countries because it kind of goes along with birth birth rate so yeah those are our important indicators and yeah as i said government uses them to be able to plan and 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 so yeah sorry for the leaf blower if it's kind of like disturbing you yeah my neighbor is just <laughs> but anyways yeah we're gonna do the factors that in uh, influence those population indicators so the first factor that would influence population indicators would be urbanization so basically with that is um with more urbanization people are most likely to be more literate and all that stuff and will most likely have less babies so if you look at your developed countries they are more urbanized and they have a lower birth rate so urbanization does have an impact on the birth rate and the death rate and obviously with more urbanization there's more hospitals and stuff like that so people have better access to healthcare facilities so the death rates will also be low so that's just and that's one thing and then another thing that has an influence on population indicators is legislation so one good example is china china was heavily up, um, overpopulated and then the government came up with this rule that a family is only allowed to have one child so such laws um will decrease the birth rate you know and then in, in another country i think it's switzerland or singapore i <laughs> just hope i'm not making but one of those countries so the um the birth rate was negative 
so they started the thing where they encouraged the people to have more children and they would have more incentives so yeah those factors like legislation can influence the the population indicators another thing is religion with certain religion um a woman can't be like on fam family planning methods so they don't really have a choice um, on like how many children they're going to have so in those cases there would be a high birth rate you know so yeah that's another thing and then another factor would be sanitation and access to clean water so in areas that are that have better sanitation and have better access to clean water there will be a lower death rate because obviously there will be less occurrences of diseases such as your cholera yeah you yeah and people have access to hospitals and stuff like that so your death rates will definitely be um lower whereas if they don't have access to clean water and proper sanitation methods it's easier for people to get sick and therefore the death rate will be higher and then the last factor would be industrialization with that industrialization led to like commercial farming and factories so it's there's more food available and with more food available people can live longer so yeah your life expectancy can like increase based based on industrialization so yeah those are our factors that influence population indicators and again i'm so sorry for the leaf blah it's actually getting on my nerves but <laughs> I hope it's not as annoying to you guys there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, and I'm, I'm going to need to get the book for that, is a population pyramid. There we go. For those people who don't know what a population pyramid looks like, that is a population pyramid. And just to define it, it is like a visual representation of the male, that side, and the female that side population of a country at a particular moment Ugh. yeah so that's that's south africa's one see at a particular moment in 2010 so in 2010 that is how our population pyramid looks like and just yeah to go ahead it's easy to tell that south africa is a developing country because of our population pyramid and that is because of the shape so yeah, a population pyramid that has a shape like that is characteristic of a developing country where it has a wide base and then it goes narrow as you go on top. That shows that there's a high birth rate. That's why there's a lot of like, there's, there's a lot of babies, like, yeah, children, yeah, young people because the birth rate is high and the death rate is high. Which is why when you get to like your 50s, 60s, it, it decreases. So yeah. And a population pyramid like that, I mean, every country strives to get it as straight as possible. The reason being because as a country, you want there to be a low occurrence of young people. That being like under 18, basically people that are dependent. You want their, you want as little young people as possible and you want as little yeah ish, my english is going away as little as possible as little old people as possible that is because those two groups are dependent on yeah they're dependent they are not financially independent so your parents have to take care of you so basically a liability i know this is not nice i'm still a liability yeah so yeah it's best to have it wide in the middle which shows that you have a, um, a lot of working people productive people so they can go out and make money and do things so that is what would be best and they cost the government less because they don't have to pay for their education they don't have to pay for their, their health care if they can actually afford to work so yeah that's just one of those things and it's very important in planning because like as you saw with that one there's a lot of minors so the government needs to know that oh my we need to build a lot of schools because there's a lot of young people um 
grants as well, like social grants. You know that they they're gonna have to pay out a lot of social grants because of a lot of minors. So yeah, that's just basically it. I don't wanna get in like too much detail for now, but that would be it for today. Thank you so so much for tuning in. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And yeah, if you have any requests, do that. Thank you. Bye.